Well, hello and how are you? Hey friends, welcome to the Shin Show. I am your host, Shenandoah Briscoe, coming to you live or here in St. Charles, Missouri. Hey, you know what? Today's Monday, February the 5th, 2024. Got some Shin Show fans out there. Ken and Becky Taggett and Mary Thornhill Everingham. Thank you all so much for your support. I certainly do appreciate you. We my Pokey Pals. Julie Rigo and Amanda Sue Little. Here's a special return poke for you right now. All right, let's jump on in to the weather forecast for the St. Charles viewing area. Uh, 45 or 54. 54 was the high temperature for today. Mostly cloudy or mostly sunny skies today. Very nice out there. Very light breeze. So it was very nice. Got to set myself in my little corner out there and enjoy the weather I did. Uh, anyway, a few clouds later on tonight with uh, low temperatures around 29 degrees Fahrenheit with winds north at 5 to 10 miles per hour. And then for Tuesday, February the 6th, sunshine and some clouds, high temperatures around 54 degrees Fahrenheit, with winds east to northeast at about 4 miles per hour. Partly cloudy skies during the evening will give way to cloudier skies overnight. Low temperatures near 35 degrees Fahrenheit, with winds light and variable. That would be southeast at about 5 miles per hour. And then for Wednesday, February the 7th, overcast skies with a high of 58 degrees Fahrenheit. Winds will be south to southeast at 10 to 15 miles per hour. Cloudy skies overnight with low temperatures of 46 degrees Fahrenheit. Winds south to southeast at 10 to 15 miles per hour. Then for Thursday, February the 8th, cloudy skies with slight chances of rain, showers possible, high temperatures of 59 degrees Fahrenheit, winds south at 15 to 25 miles per hour, partly cloudy skies over uh, night with slight chances of rain showers, low temperatures around 50 degrees Fahrenheit. Winds will be south to southwest at 10 to 20 miles per hour. Friday, February the 9th, mainly sunny skies with high temperatures of 64 degrees Fahrenheit. Winds west to southwest at 10 to 15 miles per hour. Mostly clear skies overnight with low temperatures around 38 degrees Fahrenheit. Winds will be west to northwest at about uh, five to 10 miles per hour. Then your high, or fifth, fifth and final day of our five day forecast for the St. Charles viewing area, Saturday, February the 10th, partly cloudy skies with high temperatures around 54 degrees Fahrenheit. Winds will be west to northwest at 5 to 10 miles per hour. And then partly cloudy skies in the evening, increasing cloudies with periods of showers after midnight. Low temperatures of 37 degrees Fahrenheit. Winds will be north at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Chances of rain 50%. And my friends, is your five day forecast for the St. Charles viewing area. Alrighty. Alrighty then. That was brought to you today by Cupping Hands Thrift Store and Foster Care Closet, located at 416 South Fifth Street, St. Charles, Missouri. Come on by, get yourself some good old, good old, good old deals. All kinds of bargains they have. Plus, they also have food. Yep, 
they are the VIP diner indulge in some fine uh, cuisine while you're there. Down home country cuisine, that is. Oh, Lord. I've been in pain for the last few days. Pain in my shoulder. Pain in my brain. I've been in pain for the last two days. Don't know what's causing my pain. Oh, Lord. I'm just a try. To keep on, not tonight. Keep on, keeping on, keeping on trying. Where is the place you ought to be? Heaven bound, that is for. I just like to go and see. Be a heaven bound, heaven bound, that's for me. Heaven bound, heaven bound, that's for me. I, yeah, 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 yeah. Do or do or do or die. Where? I go from here. I don't know, but where I've been is a place where the world has allowed some. Yes, there's been sin in this world. Yes, it's spread throughout the land. If you find yourself in sin, and praise God, join Jesus, and live with him. Mm, praise God, join Jesus, and live with him. If you find yourself in sin, do what you know is right for you. Live your life outside of sin. Do what you can. Do who you are. And get away from your sin. Live your life as best you can. Find your way away from sin. Because that sin will drag you in. It's the way that it goes each and every day. We know. Drag your life away from sin. Did the party all come again? Help yourself away, you know, and get away from sin as you go. Help yourself away from sin as in God, you forgive me then. Oh, me, Jesus, protect my soul. Away from sin is where we need to go. Is that right? Y'all folks get that? If that's the message you have to feel and have every day. No sin, no sin within thine soul. No sin within thine soul. 
day. Uh-huh. Be glad with him, getting rid of all thou for sin, getting rid of that all for sin. Sorry, I was just writing as I go. Oh, let's see. Lord, I hope this day is good. Song lyrics, Lord, I hope this day is good. The Lord, I hope this day is good. I'm feeling empty and misunderstood. I should be thankful, Lord, I know I should. But, Lord, I hope this day is good. Lord, have you forgotten me? I've been praying to you faithfully. I'm not saying I'm a righteous man. But, Lord, I hope you understand. I don't need no fortune and I don't need pain. Sin. Down the thunder, boats and down the rain. Broken, you're planning just how it will be. Plan a good day for me. Lord, I hope this day is good. I'm feeling it the amiss, understood. I should be thankful, Lord, I know I should. But Lord, I hope this day is good. You've been the king since the dawn of time. All that I'm asking is a little less crime. It might be hard for the devil to do, but it would be easy for you. Lord, I hope this day is good. I'm feeling empty and misunderstood. I should be thankful, Lord, I know I should, but Lord, I hope this day is good. Lord, I hope this day is good. Well, I don't believe in superstars, organic food, and foreign cars. I don't believe the price of gold, the certainty of growing old. That right is right and left is wrong. That north and south can't get along. That east is east and west is west. And being first is always best. But I believe love. I believe in babies. I believe in Mom and Dad, and I believe in you. Well, I don't believe that heaven waits for only those who congregate. I like to think that God is love, and he's down below, he's up above. He's watching people everywhere. He knows he does and doesn't care. And I'm uh, an ordinary man. Sometimes I wonder who I am, but I believe in love. I believe in music. I believe in magic. And I believe in you. I know with all my certainty what's going on with you and me. It's a good thing. It's true. I believe in you. I don't believe virginity is as common as it used to be in work and days and sleep and nights. And that black is black and white is white. Mm, that Superman and Robin Hood are still alive in Hollywood. And the gasoline is in short supply. And the raising cost of getting by. But I believe in Love. I believe in old folk. 
lips. I believe in children, and I believe in you. I believe in love. I believe in babies. I believe in mom and dad, and I believe in you. Well, I left Oklahoma driving in a Pontiac, just about to lose my mind. I was going to Arizona, maybe on to California, where the people all live so fine. My baby said I was crazy. My mama called me lazy. I was going to show all this time. Because, you know, I ain't no fool. And I don't need no moving schooling. I was broke to just to walk the line. I said I'm living on Tulsa time. Living on Tulsa time. Well, you know I been through it. We're gonna set my watch back to it. Living on Tulsa town. While there I was in Hollywood, wishing I was doing good, talking to the top on the telephone line. But they don't need me in their movies, and nobody sings my songs. Guess I'm just wasting time. Well, then I got to thinking, man, and I really think sinking, and I really had a flush this time. I had no business leaving, and no one would be grieving if I went on back to Tulsa Town. I said, I'm living on Tulsa Town. I'm living on Tulsa Town. Oh, well, you know, I've been through it. We're going to set my watch back to it. Living on Tulsa Town. I said, living on Tulsa Town. Living on Tulsa Town. I'm going to set my watch back to it. Because you know I've been through it. Living on Tulsa Town. Yeah. Hey, a fan. Hello, fan. Glad to have you with us today. Uh, like the haircut. Just cut her cut yesterday over at the uh, uh, Great Clips. Over at the clip joint at the Great Clips there by Bass Pro. Done my beard the day before. Trimmed it out. Got the old whole Hogan look going on. All right. Let's see. Well, how about Johnny Cash? How about an Elvis team? How about a little water first? Yes, H2O. Last time I drank it, it dribbled out of that straw right down my shoulder. Nice and ice cold. That shoulder is out of place. And I don't know. Got a chiropractor's appointment. Wednesday. But I've got to get that all taken care of because it hurts. All right, let's see. Elvis. I uh, will do Johnny Cash real quick. Um, song lyrics, Ghost Riders. An old cowboy went by now, one dark windy day. Up on a ridge, he rested as he went along his way. Read all the ones a mighty herd of red eyed chassis saw. A plowing through a ragged sky, 
and a perfidy draw. Yippee-yi-yo, yippee goes brighter in the sky. Their brands were still on fire and their hoofs were made of steel. Their horns were black and shiny and their hot breath he could feel. A bolt appeared through him as they thundered through the sky. For he saw the riders coming hard and he heard their mournful cry. Yippee-yi-yo, yippee-yi-yo, ghost riders in the sky. Their faces gone, their eyes were blurred, and their shirts were soaked with sweat. And they'd been riding hard to catch that herd, but they ain't got them yet. They got to ride forever in that range up in the sky. Odd horses snorting fire. As they ride on, he heard their cry. Yep, yay. Yep, yay. Ghost riders in the sky. As the riders looked on him, he heard one call his name. If you want to save your soul from hell, a riding on our range. Then cowboy change your ways today, or with us you will ride. A try and catch the devil's herd across these in the sky. Yippee, yippee, ghost riders in the sky. Ghost riders in the sky. Ghost Riders in the Sky. Okay, now we'll do an Elvis. Um, no. uh, oh, oh, oh. Uh, so, song lyrics, please, why you choose? Song lyrics, blue suede shoes. Well, it's a, a one for a minute, a two for the show, a three to your red and a go, cat go, but don't you step on the blue suede shoes. And well, I can do anything, but I like you off of my blue suede shoes. Well, you can I knock me down, you step in my face, slander my name all over the place. I do anything that you want to do, but oh, I lay off my shoes and don't you. I step on my blue suede shoes. You can do anything, but lay off my blue suede shoes. Now let's let it go, cats. I said, I blue suede shoes. I blue suede shoes. I blue blue suede shoes. I blue 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 suede shoes. I blue 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 suede shoes. You can burn in my house or steal in my car. I drink a my liquor from my, the old fruit jar. You can do anything that you want to do. But I'll leave off of my shoes and don't you. I step on my blue suede shoes. I don't you. Don't you step on my blue suede shoes. You can do anything, but i off of my blue suede shoes. I said, right here. Oh, well, it's a, I want for the money. I do for the show. A three day ride and I go, I go, but don't you? I step on my blue suede shoes. Well, you can do anything, I lay off of my blue suede shoes. I said, I blue, I blue suede shoes, baby. I blue, blue, I blue suede shoes. Aha, I said, I blue, blue, I blue suede shoes. I yeah, blue, 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 blue suede shoes. Hey, you can do anything, I thought I lay off of my blue suede shoes. Yeah. Song lyrics return to sender. Return to sender. Return to sender. Well, I gave a letter to the postman. He put it in his sack. Brighter the next morning. 
He brought my letter back. I returned to send it. I had address unknown. No such number. I know such zone. We had a coral a lover's back. I'm, well, I'm sorry, but my letter keeps up coming back. Yeah, so then I dropped it in the mailbox, sent it a special key. I write new the next morning. It came right back to me. She wrote upon it. I returned to send it. I address unknown. There's a no such number. And a no such tone. This time I'm going to take it myself and put it right in her hand. And if it comes back the very next day, well, then I'll understand. She wrote upon it, return to sender. I address unknown. No such number. And no such thumb. I said, return to sender. I address unknown. There's a no such number. I know who such thumb. Return to sender. I return to send. I return to send. I return to send. Ah, one more. Where do you want more Elvis? Still hanging out? Good. Still with me. Was me. Say, only fools rush in, but I can't help falling in love with you. Shall I stay? Would it be a sin if I can help? Falling in love with you. I like the river flows, surely to the sea. Darling, so it goes, some things are meant to be. Take my head, take my whole life too, for I can help. Falling in love with you. Like a river flows, surely to the sea. Darling, so it goes. Some things are meant to be. Take my head. Take my whole life to you. For I can help. I fall in love with you, for I can't help falling in love with you. All right. Uh, whoever it was that was liking the show, well, they don't like it no more. They're still with me, but they don't like the show. What can I say? What can I do? What can I bring it up for? How about story time with TV Grandpa? That's next on the agenda. Story time with TV Grandpa. That's right, Pink Kiddos. It's TV Grandpa, and here I am ready to bring to you another bedtime story just to lull you off to sleep. So jump up on the couch or jump up on the bed. It's time to rest your sleepy little head. TV Grandpa is going to blow you off to sleep. So here we go with another tantalizing treat. This is called The Bear Beast. An old man living in Alaska was sad. All of his friends and family were long gone. He began to wonder if he should leave the village and start a new life somewhere else. If I lived someplace 
new. At least I wouldn't be around all these memories anymore, he thought. But he also worried if I paddled away to another village and the people there see that I am alone. They may think that I had to run away from my home village because I was accused of some disgraceful thing. Instead, he thought that he would just go off and live in the forest by himself. Well, the poor man was so sad traveling alone in the woods, it was actually occurred to him to go to the bears and just let the bears kill him. Well, the bear village was a large, near the bear village, there was a large salmon creek. And so he went over to the creek early in the morning until he found a bear trail and he lay down across the, the end of it. He thought that when the bears came out along this trail, they would find him and that would be the end of that. But by and by, as he lay there, he heard bushes breaking, and then a large number of grizzly bears came along. The larger bear led the rest, and then the old man became scared. All of a sudden, he realized that he did not want to die at all, and certainly not by bears. And so when the leading bear came up to him, the old man stood up. He announced, I have come to invite you to a feast. At that, the leading bear for a fur stood straight up. The old man thought that he was surely done for, but he spoke again, saying, I have come to invite you to a feast, but if you are going to kill me, I am willing to die. I am alone. I have lost all my friends and my family. And as soon as he had said this, the leading bear turned around and growled to the other bears that were following him. And then the group of them turned back the way they had come. After a while, the man turned and walked towards his village very fast. He wondered if the biggest bear had told the bears behind him to go back and get ready because they were invited to a feast. Well, in case that was the way it is, I'd better get ready to make a feast, thought the old man. And as soon as he got home, he started to clean up. He took away the old sand out from around the fireplace and replaced it with clean sand. And then he went for a load of fresh wood. And when he told the other people in the village what he was doing and why, they were all very much scared. So they said to him, what made you do such a thing? The grizzlies are our enemies. You do not want grizzly bears in your home. When he was back at home, the man took off his shirt and painted his chest. He put stripes of red across his upper arms, muscles, a red stripe over his heart and another across his, the upper part of his chest. And so very early in the morning, after he had thus prepared, he stood outside of the door looking for his bears. Finally, he saw them at the mouth of the creek led by the same big grizzly bear. When the other villager peoples saw the bears, however, they were so terrified that they shut themselves into their houses. But the old man stood by his door to receive his guests. He brought them into the house and gave them seats, placing the chief in the middle at the rear of the house and the rest around him. First, he served them large gray trays of cranberries preserved in grease. The large bear seemed to say something to his companions. And as soon as he began to eat, 
and the rest started to eat too. They watched him and did whatever he did. The host followed up with a course of salmon with sprinkles of clover weed and dandelion on top for garnish. Then a course of deer meat with pine nuts for dessert, raspberries with honey. And after they were through, the large bear seemed to talk to his host for a very long time. It was almost as if the leader bear was giving him a speech, for he would look up at the smoke hole every now and again and act as though he were talking. When he finished, he went over to his host and he lifted the paint from his arms and chest. And so each of the other bears in turn did the same. The old man felt as if they were licking his sorrows away. The day after all this happened, the smallest bear came back to the old man's hut in human form and he spoke to the old man. He had been born a human being, he told the old man, but had been captured and adopted by the bears. This bear man asked the old man if he had understood their chief, and he said no. He was telling you, the bear man replied, that he is in the same condition as you, that he too is old and has lost all of his friends, and he has heard of you before he saw you. He said he told you to think of him whenever you were mourning for your lost loved ones. And as he knows what or how that is too, when the old man asked the, this bear man why he had not told him that day when the bears were at the feast, he replied that he was not allowed to turn into its human form and speak his native language while the bear chief was around. After this, whenever the people of the village gave a feast, they would always invite their enemies to the feast, and they would become friends, just as the old man had done with the chief of the bears. The end. There we go. Hope y'all are nice, sleepy, and tired. All right, that was the TV Grandpa. We're going to jump right over into the Daily Bread portion of the program. The Daily Bread portion of the program is going to be brought to you today by The Bible with Briscoe 2024. The Bible with Briscoe 2024 is a daily reading of the Bible. And today's devotion, or today's reading in the Bible with Briscoe 2024, will be Exodus 36 through 38 and Matthew 23, 1 through 22. Okay, today's devotion in the daily bread portion of the program is extending dignity. Extending dignity. And the today's scriptures and insights will be John 8, 2 through 11. So here we go. John 8, 2 through 11. At dawn, he appeared again in the temple courts, where all the people gathered around him, and he sat down to teach them. The teachers of the law and the Pharisees brought in a woman caught in adultery. They married her stand before the group and said to Jesus, Teacher, this woman has been caught in the act of adultery. In the law, Moses commanded us to stone such women. Now, what do you say? They were using this question as a trap in order to have a basis for accusing him. But Jesus bent down and started to write on the ground with his finger. And when they kept on questioning him, he straightened up and said to them, Let any one of you who is without sin be the first to throw a stone at her. 
Again, he sat Duke down and was striding on the ground. At this, many of those who heard, who heard began to go away one at a time. The older, older ones first, until only Jesus was left with the woman still standing there. Jesus straightened up and asked her, Woman, where are they who have accused you? No one, sir. No one, sir, she said. Has no one commanded commanded you? No one, sir, he, she said. And then neither do I condemn you. Jesus de declared, go now and live your life life of without sin and there you have it John 8 2 through 11 in extending dignity all right already my friends hey that looks like the shin show we're about done with it we're pretty much through I'm gonna say oh well Thanks for showing up to the Shin Show. Hey, if you like it, go ahead and try to share it. If you don't, well, I'm glad you came by and take a, took a look at what you saw. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Um, I like to be able to chat with folks so I can get some song choices or songs available. Um, that way you can let me know what you want to hear. That's always a good thing. All right. All right, throw some comments down over there somewhere, and I'll get back to them later. Okay. All right. God bless you. Y'all give me a hit. How's it? Oh, well, goodbye, my friends. It's a time to go. I said goodbye, my friends. It's a time to go. I hate to leave you, but I really must go. So goodbye, my friends. Goodbye. Goodbye. My friends, goodbye. This here has been Shin Go Presto saying hello and how are you? Thanks for tuning in to the show, and we will see you tomorrow, God willing. Bye bye.